everyone so this is another quick video showing you my latest projects um, <clears throat> this one is um, rising sun number 20 for women uh, it's a sweater of course or a t-shirt if you wish um, it's a top-down seamless design a round yoke very simple very easy it's quite see-through, so you will need to wear something underneath. Ideally, I would say skin-colored camisole or brow or something like that. Um, the sleeves are very easy. It just continues with the design pretty much and uh, finishes with the, the crease and uh, back loop. Uh, single crochet cuff. So it's all very easy. Um, it doesn't have any complicated stitches. It's just the maths that I had to um, go through to get it to fit um, all the sizes, which are from extra small to 3XL. Um, obviously, the listing has everything mentioned in it. So if you want to go check that one out, I will uh, link it below. Then. Um, I created this square and um, I wanted to make different things with it because um, if I were to publish this and charge very little money most people won't even pay attention to it I know for sure because um, there are some people who are just designing squares and that's it and I don't think they're making any sales with that so because it's so beautiful I mean I like it um, I decided to make things so that um, I actually have the instructions um, or the concept and once you've worked with it um, you can expand into other squares and other ways of uh, making your own stuff I mean um, if you know how this is made you can actually choose another favorite square and work with it and create other pairs of mittens for example um, so this is a set um, I created the hat with uh, 3d flowers as well as simple ones like this one um, the palm is um, it has no 3D petals on it, um, just because it will be more comfortable to grab things, obviously. It's just a practical way of um, doing it. Um, this is back loop slip stitch, which is my favorite ribbing. I always use it on my projects, sometimes for necklines. Um, well, usually for necklines, but I thought I'll give it a try and see if this will fit, and it did. Um, well, the hat and mittens and the scarf which is huge I call it a wrap actually because it's really big I it's just how I wanted it for my own um, use so um, this uses five squares this uses two and the wrap uses 60 so it's very 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 big um, but I used a two ply which means everything's very light very fluffy it's got angora in it and it's very cute you can use whatever yarn you like really and it was very cheap I bought the two giant cakes and I had leftover after making the set and um, it was just 10 pounds I couldn't believe it it was on sale but it sales in UK are not huge so it was a bargain I think so I made the set and it's very beautiful the colors go into brown and something close to this like oxblood red as well and a fuchsia so it alternates I mean you can already see quite a few shades here um, but yeah that's the fun of a self striping yarn that is very thin and very fluffy with angora um, so yeah this um, this bag has the first square I designed which obviously was foundational for this one. So this square is a bit of, um, smaller than this one. Um, obviously if you buy any of these patterns that have the square, you can create any item with them, obviously, as, as long as you measure it and then, I don't know, come up with what you want to make. Um, the bag is simple, obviously you can make it taller or wider, you can make it into a tote. Um, yeah, so these three are already published and I'll show you what else I made with the square let me clear my desk <clears throat> so this is cotton but you can use 
um, merino as well if you want a warmer garment. Um, so for this one I used one, two, three, four, five, six, um, plus four. Was it ten square? I don't know. No, because there's two more, so that's twelve. So I had twelve squares. I created the yoke with it, and right after the yoke, I introduced a shell. This is called Erica, and because it's got flowers, I called it Floral Erica. And I meant to design this very long time ago. I think it was beginning of the year. Um, and I didn't know what to do, how to do, to make the flowers um, easy to work with, because I wanted like flower going around like this. And because of the shapes, and it was causing a lot of problems. So, in the end, this is what I published. Um, the listing will be far back in my uh, shop. So, um, just go to Women's Bundle at the top to find it quicker. Um, this is the usual stitch I use. Uh, back loop slip stitch. Very beautiful. This is the first time I created the um, cuff quite wide. And I love it. Um, what else? Yeah, so it's literally just back loop, slip stitch, a shell that is quite see through. So, um, you can see through it, um, but not too much. So, it's not too transparent. Obviously, you can replace this shell with a full shell. This is double crochet, chain, double crochet, chain, double crochet. If you want a fuller, like five double crochet, you can replace this with it and um, get a, I think a heavier <coughs> garment that you don't see through. Um, but because mine is cotton and I wanted it to be more playful and like springtime, um, I chose to use the um, less Full, the more breezy shell. So, um, how I joined the squares on the back, I just used slip stitch and uh, one loop from each square so that it's not coming out too thick. And um, because I've done that, you can see this extra ribbing on this side, which I think is quite cute. And it's nice to see that it's made with squares instead of like whatever. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've got a cold at the moment. Anyway, so, and then I added the, the, leg, the leg neckline and um, it's very simple. It's just uh, single crochets and I made a cute little um, Trinity stitch in the corners. A little touch. <laughs> Something cute and girly. And that's it. I mean, I do have a few projects more with this square. And I could show you a sneak peek for my next one. I have to really focus on it because um, um, I changed the square. So it's a different shade now. So this is the daydream version of the sweater with flowers at the top. And the square is not square anymore. <laughs> so I had to think how to create it so that it's, um, it can curve. So that was my biggest challenge because previously I didn't know how to put flowers on the neckline and make it curve nicely, not um, create waves in the fabric and all sorts of things. Anyway, so this is a repeat of the Daydream sweater. Except this is for ply. Just like that one. So, again, using shells, using flowers, um, but this time is around seamless. <laughs> Cat wants attention. Oh, baby, down you get. Um, so, it's around seamless neck, top down, and obviously for ply, which I ran out of, which is why I have to probably. Um, and this fits me, which is why I'm quite happy and not so happy <laughs> because 
Um, I need to maybe unravel it and find the smallest size and work from there, like adding chains for um, on the arm. So yeah, it's a prototype, work in progress, and um, it's very cute. I really like this uh, cotton I'm working with at the moment um, because you can clearly see what's what. I never work with acrylics because you can't see what's what. <laughs> um, and that's it. So these are some of my latest designs. I can't think of anything else to show you. But um, this is definitely next, next week's um, focus for me. And hopefully I'll have it published. I'm trying to publish one design a week. It's kind of hard because I do have to really focus. But I do have quite a bit of experience now. Four years of designing. So hopefully I'll be able to pick it up and run with it. So I'll see you in the next one, and I hope you enjoy um, the set, because I published it yesterday. I'll leave links to everything, and I hope you're liking my cute little square. Um, I'll see what else I can design with it, in case um, you want to own it. I mean, whichever pattern you decide to buy with this, you can always... Um, Kind of go with the flow and create your own something else. I don't know. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.